What is going on everybody? It's Deadly Venom here and this is my video. It's uh, a free-for-all on bootleg. I never play free-for-all because I am terrible at it. <laughs> uh, the best I got with a sniper I was trying to play the other day, just get a quick gameplay. Because a lot of my gameplays turn out to be quite long, like high kill but fairly long games. And so I thought I'd try and get a shorter one, so this is what I got. It's 30 and 4, not bad. I mean, I was... I was trying to get a bit, something a bit better with a sniper rifle or something, but I could only muster about 30 to 10. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty bad at free for all overall, I think. But anyway, <laughs> back to the point. Uh, I, I was thinking, now that we're sort of in the middle of Modern Warfare 3's life cycle, and everyone's st starting to look forward to what is Black Ops 2 and the future investment, whatever. People are going to say, oh, the graphics quality, the quality is crap, and all that stuff. Oh, look how bad the gameplay features are, oh, this, that, and the other. I thought it's a good thing to look back instead, because there's an investment that's going to have to be remade for a lot of people when Black Ops 2 does, in, does indeed come out. And that's quite a leap, because a lot of people have bought it, and I don't know how much use they're actually getting out of it. I, I just wanted to use this video to weigh up the pros and cons. <laughs> so I made a little list of all the things I think are good about it and all the things I think are bad about it. Personally, I already have my opinions about it, but I'd like to know what you think. I mean, I, I know some of my friends... I didn't buy Cod Elite, but some of my friends did, and they never use it. So it uh, any, anyway, <laughs> to the list. <laughs> uh, I, I put down for pros that you can have like a, a clan with customizable emblems and that and you can it can be large like on, on a large scale if not if not you have to sort of organize it and some people have their own websites etc um, secondly there are tournaments with real prizes which is good uh, <laughs> not much more to say about that really <laughs> uh, or you can, uh, when you just play with your um, team you can win just like double XP weekends for just playing with each other and stuff. Uh, also they have all those sort of like heat maps and like really good features for um, strategy and that where you can look over the map and see where most people die and where they die early and all that kind of stuff. You know it helps people learn nade spots etc. But however that's also my first con because on Black Ops they had those features and they basically took them away from Modern Warfare 3 so people would buy COD Elite and that, that's also my second con because uh, why would you take features away from people if it, uh, well we all know why because it's money isn't it in, in England that's what you spent like I think it was like £35 uh, that's got to be like more than $50 in America so it's, it's ridiculous and also um, and also, a lot of the features that are on Cod Elite aren't used uh, at all. A lot of people just bought it, and then they've never used it since. I mean, yeah, they get the uh, the DLC coming out monthly and all that stuff, but for me, that kind of ruins it anyway, because one map every now and again is not that much fun, where if you have, like, five new maps, at least you've got a lot of stuff to, like, explore and learn again. And because, I don't know, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's, that's, the way, <laughs> that's definitely the way I feel about it. Uh, another con I have is if you want to play competitively, you there are like like I said there are tournaments and stuff, but it's not the same. I mean, you can you can join GB with like a clan or MLG, whatever you whatever uh, you want to call it, and um, and you can win real world prizes as well. Oh, I mean, the 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 competition's high, obviously, but so is the prizes. I mean, there's like thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean. They recently had that frag cup thing again, and lots of people uh, won. Like the people, the team that won split six grand between what four people. So that's that's really that's really good money <laughs> just for playing a game. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's my thoughts on sort of Coddly. It's it's underused, and I think if if it wasn't if it wasn't like expensive, like if it wasn't so expensive when the game came out as well, like if they were selling it beforehand, plus it's yearly, um, like I might have bought it, but plus it, like I said, it's yearly as well. So 
when Black Ops 2 comes out, people are going to have to spend double, and that's that's obviously what the creators want. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> that's my thoughts on that. Oh, actually, what do you think about new maps coming out for free? Is that fair on people that pay the extra to have all the maps given to them? Sort of before everyone else, like all the paid maps? Or do you think that's kind of a kick in the teeth? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later, guys.